From the Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance, Wednesday, November 2nd, 2011, a brief interview with Todd Berry, President. Mr. Berry, the U.S. Census just released figures on state and local taxes in Wisconsin. What does a WisTax analysis of that data show? Wisconsin moved from 11th highest to 9th highest, but it's important to remember that the Census Bureau is always two years behind in releasing these figures. So these are for fiscal 2009, which of course was right in the middle of the recessions. While our tax ranking went up, the amount of income we pay in taxes, which was 11.7%, dropped to 11.2% of personal income because tax collections dropped during the recession. And this is something that happened in every state. Why did Wisconsin's tax burden increase? Uh, another reason we moved up a little bit back into the top 10 was that there was some juggling among states. For instance, West Virginia dropped uh, from 9th to 10th, so Wisconsin uh, was pushed up by them, and California dropped from 10th to 14th. So again, uh, the Badger State uh, got a little nudge up. Are Wisconsin's taxes high across the board? Not completely. Uh, although we rank ninth and our, and our tax burden relative to our incomes is about 10 percent above the U.S. average, when you dig into the data what you find is that it's our income taxes and our property taxes that are well above the national average, both in or flirting with the top 10, both 25 uh, percent or more above the national average, but at the same time our sales tax is in the bottom third of the country and uh, we do not charge people for a lot of public services like uh, toll roads. Uh, our tuitions tend to be lower so we pay less in fees and charges, less in sales taxes, but we make up for it with income and property taxes. And why is that? Why are Wisconsin's income and property taxes higher? States can uh, pay for public services in a variety of ways. They, one, they could use federal money to pay for them. Uh, two, they could uh, charge for them, such as a toll road or a college tuition. Or they can tax for them, uh, and they have choices of income or sales taxes, for example. What makes Wisconsin unusual is we've never ranked very high in receipt of federal money. So that option comes off the table. We also have not been a heavy user of fees, things like tolls for toll roads. And we, believe it or not, have not been a state with a, a high sales tax. So what you're left with is the big two, property taxes at the local level, income taxes at the state level. And it's those two that tend to lead Wisconsin taxpayers to feel that their taxes are high, even though, for instance, their sales taxes are not. Thank you, Mr. Berry. That's Todd Berry, president of the nonprofit, nonpartisan Wisconsin Taxpayers Alliance. For more information, go to www.wistax.org. That's www.wistax.org.